Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be doing a little bit of a beginner installation um, video. For those that don't know how to install an M.2 drive, um, it's relatively easy um, and I'll actually make this into a two-part video where we install it and then we uh, go ahead and format it and get it ready. So um, this is more for beginners, so if you're an advanced user, then this video is probably not for you. But anyway, let's go ahead and take this video card out because that's in the way. So in a previous video, uh, I believe it was Javier Chacon asked a question about the size comparison between a 980 GTX and the 2080 Ti. And since we got them out, I might as well show you. Alright guys, so this is the Samsung 970 Evo Plus. It's a 2 terabyte NVMe M.2 drive. If you've never seen one of these, they are extremely small. And that's all it is right there. Super thin, super small, really easy to install. Alrighty guys, so this particular motherboard has two M.2 drives, one right here. And the other is right here okay I already have a one terabyte um, m.2 drive in this one um, so we're gonna use this slot today and you just need a screwdriver small enough for the threads <clears throat> you're gonna unscrew this and this little sheath comes up okay I'm trying to not block the camera here so you pull this up and on the back of this you can see there's a little protective film and what what that is is um, it's a heat compound that's under it um, kind of like when you put a CPU on that will assist in dissipating heat All right, so here's the drive there's only one way that this is going to go in as you can see there's a little notch right here okay and there's a notch down here and it might be a little bit difficult to see with the camera angle but it's right there so you can only put it in, in one direction Otherwise, you're going to break something. So we literally just put it in right here. And that's it. You're going to push down with this heat sink on top. We're going to take off that plastic. Okay. The end with the uh, little notch goes in right on top push down like that put your screw in alrighty you got it started we're just going to screw it all the way in you don't want to over tighten it because you will end up breaking something nice and snug and there you go we're ready to turn it on all right guys so now that we have our m.2 nvme installed we need to uh, partition and format it right so from your desktop you can right click on the windows icon we're going to go up to disk management and right away it should pop up just like it did you must initialize this disk before logical manage Dis logical disk manager can access it. So we're gonna go with the GUID partition table, which is the newer version. Um, if you have compatibility issues, then you might not use this, but uh, that's dependent upon your system. So we're gonna hit OK. <coughs> Make this a little bit bigger. So I have a bunch of different hard drives. The one that is in question here is in black, and it says it's unallocated. So all you have to do is right click on anywhere in here in this disk 3 your may, yours may be a different disk number depending on how many hard drives you have so you right click new simple volume and now this is going to take you through the uh, new simple volume wizard hit next you can allocate as much uh, of, of the size that you want for the drive next you can 
pick your drive letter. I'm just gonna leave it at G from here. These are the default settings, so I'm gonna leave that. And your volume label is whatever you wanna call this. So I'm gonna go ahead and steal this from uh, one of my friends, Whiskey Joet, um, and name this Badassery. Perform a quick format, we're gonna hit next, finish. And now it turns blue. I got a pop up here from the Windows Explorer showing me that Badassery is now a, a drive that I can use. So that's how easy it is. If you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like, comment, subscribe. I'll get you on the next video.